Okay, so this one's gonna be a little harder because they're all solved for y. All right, so I gotta go through and do it. But it says perpendicular, so that means I can probably eliminate a couple right away from the slope. So 2y equals 3x minus 10 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. Y equals 3 over 2x, and I don't really care what this is, it's minus 5. All right, so please, oh, it's not there, never mind. I was going to say, please don't pick this answer, all right, because that's not the answer. All right, but it says perpendicular, so 2, sorry. Slope of this guy is 3 over 2, which means the perpendicular slope is negative 2 thirds. So gone, gone. All right, so it's one of those two. All right, so what do I do? I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and go over here to the side, and I'm going to put in y minus y1, m, x minus x1. All right, that's y minus 1. Uh, sorry. m is negative 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds times x minus negative 6. That's y minus 1, negative 2 thirds, x plus 6. All right, now normally I'm done, but of course this one they want it in y equals, so I got to do a little algebra. Y minus 1, negative 2 thirds x minus 4, uh, plus 1, plus 1, y minus 1, no, sorry, it's just regular old y, equals negative 2 thirds x minus 3. Okay, so I solved that for y, and look at that. There's the answer right there. Okay, I could have also put that put one and two into my calculator and see which one went to the point negative six, negative one. That's fine also. All right. But I like to stick to what if it wasn't multiple choice when I'm trying to review because it's not always going to be multiple choice. 